Good morning, Bernie, Texas. I'm Kim Blum, your president and CEO of your Greater Bernie Chamber of Commerce. I am so excited to be here today and so proud to introduce the Wounded Warrior Project. I have a very special friend and former chamber board member and ambassador of the year for so many years running. I have Jacques DeBose here. He is the uh, director of the grassroots efforts for the West area. So Jacques, tell us some more about Wounded Warrior Project and what we can do for you here at the chamber. Sure, so Wounded Warrior Project is a nonprofit and we have a lot of programs to take care of veterans, wounded warriors. We have some of our, our warriors here with us today who are also staff uh, and military members. So the, we support the warriors. We have family support programs. We have peer support groups. A big thing that we do is the benefits thing. So helping people with their VA benefits and their claims. Uh, I did my VA stuff years ago, but actually when I started with Wounded Warrior Project, they found more stuff. So they're working on mine now. So everything's free because we have generous donors who are passionate about our military warriors and want to make a difference in their lives. That's amazing. Well, you've always had just a servant heart and always just a leader in the community. So this is right up your alley and we're so grateful to celebrate you at the chamber. Tell us some more about some, how someone could get a hold of you or your team. Do we want to hear from Juan for a little bit and hear more about... Um, so Brian's going to say a few okay. words, and Juan will as well, so um, take it away, Brian. Okay, thank you. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about my story and, and how I came to Wounded Warrior Project. Uh, my name is Brian Newman, and I served in the United States Army for 10 years, uh, deployed four times, uh, Haiti, Afghanistan, and Iraq, and I was actually traumatically injured on Veterans Day of all days, November 11th of 2004 uh, in Fallujah. And I like to think that everything that I had done in the military had kind of prepared me to that point. Um, that actually wasn't the worst day I ever had. Uh, honestly, through the entire experience, I had all kinds of support. I was never worried. Um, I knew I was going to live, but what I wasn't prepared for is when I came home. Um, I think the hardest day I've ever had w was about a, a month after my injury. I'm sitting at Walter Reed, which is the hospital up in, in DC that many of us come through. And it's the first time I'm trying to use a prosthetic. And um, the person that was helping me basically told me that you'll never be able to lift your arm above your head. And at that point, everything came crashing down. Uh, I hadn't prepared for what life would hold after something like this. I couldn't do uh, what I did anymore. So, so as I continued to, to be a patient in the hospital, I looked at the organizations that were assisting people and, and what did I want to do with the rest of my life? Um, I got that opportunity through the Wounded Warrior Project. They were a fairly new organization. They weren't recreating the wheel. They were doing kind of amazing things. Um, and that's actually how I ended up here in, in Texas, in San Antonio. Uh, Brook Army Medical Center opened uh, to amputees, military amputees and burn victims about a month after I was injured. And I followed an amazingly wonderful and smart girl down here. <laughs> who I'm married to now, who I met in the military. Um, so I've been in San Antonio for 18 years. And, and to get to the point, um, I was the 13th employee for Wounded Warrior Project. I was the first one here in San Antonio. Uh, we started out handing out backpacks to service members who come back, um, having experienced that myself, coming back with absolutely nothing, no wallet, no clothing. Just getting a backpack, some comfort items, and some clothes was a really big thing. And I definitely associated immediately with, with our logo, which is one warrior carrying the other. I knew that when I went out in public and I, and I had this logo on, that people knew I was a wounded warrior. They knew there was a story behind what I had done. Um, so I've seen our organization grow from 13 people to over 900 now. Uh, like Jock was saying, we offer more than 15 free programs and services to almost 200,000 warriors and family members right now. Uh, we have approximately 27,000 warriors in the state of Texas and over 5,000 in Bear County. Um, so we run lots of events, lots of programs. We have an office here in San Antonio that we established in 2010. Um, we have 65 employees there and uh, we stay very active. And the only way that we can do what we do and have an impact on lives like we do is through private donations. Um, through amazing people. We've never accepted money from government entities or anything like that. Um, and a big part of that is, is our Carry Forward event that we'll be hosting here in October. So um, to everyone out there who's given to Wounded Warrior Project, knows about Wounded Warrior Project, thank you. You really have made a difference in the lives of veterans. Thanks. And Brian was warrior number one, so he's, I, I he's was amazing. warrior number one. He's the first one in the database. <laughs> yeah. And Juan, good friend, is an, an amazing warrior. He's going to briefly, briefly share his story, then <laughs> afterwards um, we'll t have some of our teammates talk about what they're doing and how you can support us. 
Yeah, I'm a U.S. Army retired Juan Andres Arredondo and um, here in San Antonio. And actually, I got, you know, this logo is very important to us because it shows one warrior carrying another one off the battlefield. And sometimes we don't get it, you know, like Brian said, getting injured and getting to Bamsey. I actually received a, Brian, uh, a backpack from Brian Newman. He came to visit me in the hospital and we did a lot of events together. And that was my, once he got me, I wanted to get involved. Then I wanted to be that warrior, helping carrying warriors off the battlefield. So that's what we do here in San Antonio. And we do that with tons of events. And if you ever have any questions, you can reach out to our resource center number at 904-405-1213. And actually, uh, you know, being such a small military, I actually ran into another wounded warrior, who, uh, my fellow warrior who lost his leg, United States Marine Corps, um, Tim Horton. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, Tim Horton served in the United States Marine Corps. Uh, was injured on February 5th, 2005. Was driving a Humvee and an improvised explosive device was detonated underneath my vehicle, uh, resulting in the loss of my left leg below the knee, several other injuries. Uh, my, my funny saying is IEDs hurt because they do, they get your whole body. So uh, my entire body was impacted by the blast. Um, but I went to Walter Reed recovered there, received the backpack. That's how I met Wounded Warrior Project. And they took us on a lot of different events, got out in the community. Um, and then I went home and went back to school and saw that there was job openings <laughs> four or five years later and said, I hate what I'm doing right now. I don't feel like I have a purpose. And I said, you know what? They helped me a lot when I was injured. So I found a job, moved to San Antonio. I've been in San Antonio since 2011, uh, working with Wounded Warrior Project. And really, my team's role in the organization is giving out the backpacks in the hospital. So we go to Brook Army Medical Center, Audie Murphy VA trauma. If there's other hospitals that we find wounded, ill, or injured, we go there. We help their families any way we can. Obviously, the government can only do so much. So being a nonprofit, a lot of times we can cut through some of the red tape and help out give them some guidance on what they need to do. So a little bit about us. Um, to register as alumni or family support member, um, you can go to wounderwarrierproject.org, register. You can also come to our office in San Antonio, located at 12672 Silicon Drive, Suite 105, San Antonio, Texas, 78249. Thank you, Tim. And then I just want the other team to know we're over time, but just to say who you are and what you do, and then we'll talk more after the ribbon cutting. Awesome. I'm Susan Delano. I'm the manager for the Carry Forward 5K that's happening on October 7th. My name is Lucy Levine. I'm a Bernie resident, um, and I'm part of our Soldier Rights and Women's Warrior Project that does the backpacking events for our warriors. Did we Go just, Soldier Rights. Yeah. <laughs> do we have anybody else? No? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, and congratulations for all the work you're doing and supporting the chamber. We Thanks, appreciate Jim. you.